Hello. This time I'm going to show you one of the non-x86 examples that come with PASMG, namely one for 8051 microcontroller. Let's take a look at this example. It uses two additional macro sets. The first one is the Intel hex output format, a format widely used to program microcontrollers. And the second one is the instruction set of 8051. As for the program itself, it is quite simple, it does not do much, but it requires a specific setup, because of course it is possible to connect various things to microcontroller uh, on specific pins and uh, we are going to require this exact setup that this example needs to do what it does correctly. But the secret is that uh, this example has been written in such a way that it works nicely with one of the freely available emulators. We are going to download this emulator called sim 51 Extract it. And now we can use it to run our example after we assemble it. We now have hex file. So let's go and launch the emulator. Let's find the example. We want to load the hex file. Okay, so this is the disassembly of this hex file. We can compare it to original source code. As for the setup, hmm, we can take a look at it here. Our program hmm, writes to P1. So this is these are the pins of P1 registers and they are connected to DAC, Digital Analog Converter. So whatever we output on P1 is going to become a voltage level on after this conversion. And also the program reads data through P2, which is here connected, among other things, uh, to ADC, Analog Digital Converter. And also these two inputs, uh, RD and WR, are connected to P36 and P37. If we read the information about this ADC, then we need to uh, set this bit to 1 to start the conversion. And then we are going to um, receive interrupt and we can read the converted value by zeroing this bit. So let's take a look at uh, this example and what it does. It sets up its mm, timer interrupt and then on every clock tick 
it just does this. It um, clears and then sets again P36 bit. which is uh, ADC WR, so this initiates conversion. And then after conversion is complete, we receive interrupt. So this is this handler. It clears P37, which is ADC RD. So this indicates that we can read the value from ADC. We read it from P2, we then invert this value and write to P1. P1 is converted to voltage level through because it is connected to DAC. So let's try running this example with higher frequency. And now if we increase voltage here on ADC, we have immediately some result on DAC here. And because we invert the value, the higher voltage is here, the lower it becomes here. So the example is working.